Okay, now we're going to consider the countercurrent example. So we're going to look at the countercurrent heat exchanger. The only difference is that now we have to consider the mass flow rates in the two streams um, being the opposite direction because one is flowing to the right and one stream is flowing to the left. And so we have to uh, um, adjust the, the temperatures um, at the entrance and exit uh, of each of the streams to, to account for this and take a look at how this impacts our overall balance equations. So similar, uh, we're not going to go through and we're not going to do the shell balance here. Um, you should just look at the previous one to know how to do the shell balance. Um, what you end up with for the energy balance because the shell balance is exactly the same. There is no difference, and the only difference comes in the form of what the values for M1 and M2 are. So now we have M1 dot um, CP1. Um, DT1 DL uh, equals... K times temperature 2 minus temperature 1. This is the energy balance for stream 1. This is the Q term from stream uh, stream 2 and stream 1. So now we're going to have uh, the, the, uh, the, the opposite here, M2 dot uh, CP2 uh, DT2 DL. It's going to be equal to minus K times T2 minus T1, but M1 dot equals minus M2 dot, so then we replace this whole thing with M1 dot CP2 DT2 DL equals K times T2 minus T1. So now when we combine this equation star with this equation star star, we have to subtract them because then we'll have M1 with CP's uh, constant. We'll have M1 CP times DT1 over DL minus DT2 over DL. All of this is equal to zero, which means that D time we can use this property of derivatives. T2 over DL equals zero, which means that T1 minus T2 equals some constant, not constants, constant C. Okay, this actually uh, makes life remarkably, remarkably easy for this problem. Why? Let's see what happens when we put this in. Let's make this substitution into equation star. So equation star becomes M1 CP DT1 DL equals K times T2 minus T1, uh, which is going to be equal to some, to some mi minus constant, equals minus, equals K times minus C using the fact that T1 minus T2 equals a constant. So let me write, write this down so it's clear. It's M1 CP1 DT1 DL equals minus K times C. What is C? Well, for this problem, C is equal to T1 minus T2 minus T1, and this is going to be equal to minus 30 degrees C. If you uh, just take a look at your diagram to see what to see how that how that is. Okay, so the integral of this is trivial. What's the integral of a constant? Okay, so we have just the integral of a constant is linear. So this leads to a linear profile as, a pro, as opposed to an exponential. The co-current you saw earlier is exponential. The countercurrent is linear. 
So here, our equation for temperature 1 as a function of L is equal to minus KCP uh, K times uh, C over MCP times L plus T1 I. Or making some and substitutions, this is equal to minus 15 times L over L0 plus 5. Okay. And so then, now solving for T2, we see that uh, this is plus 35. T1I is 35. T2 is equal to minus 15 times L over L0 plus 5. So, super easy, super easy linear distributions for temperature uh, inside of this heat exchanger. And similarly, when you do this, you get uh, a, the counter current uh, exchanger uh, gives us an L of about 1.3 times L0. 1.3 is less than 1.61, so it's it's a more efficient, uh, more efficient heat exchanger. Um, because uh, the the overall um, um, energy balance is so simple, this also makes the entropy calculation that much simpler. So we're going to have uh, for the entropy term on the counter current heat exchanger, MDS1 DL is going to be equal to that Q dot over T, which is going to be equal to minus uh, kappa times 30 over T1. Um, and uh, so we can just substitute in what our solution is for T1. We're going to have dS1 dL then is equal to um, minus kappa 30. Oh, that's not a very good line. Divided by m dot times 35 minus 30 kappa L over M dot CP. Okay, plus 273.15. Solving this gives us um, an entropy. Uh, calculation from any point in space versus the starting point in space equals CP ln 1 minus 0 0.048 L by L0.